Hi guys, welcome back with me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. Asia FX Edge Higher as Dollar Returns from 20 Year Park by Ambar Warik. Investing.com Most Asian currencies creep higher on Friday and were set to end the week largely unchanged as the dollar returned from a 20 year peak. But Hawkeye's comments from U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell keep investors worried of further loss in Asian market, reducing expectation of steep investing rate hikes by the central bank. The Japanese yen rose 0.3%, while Chinese yuan ate 2.0.2%. Both currencies have have spread over multi-year lows and were the worst performing Asian units this week. China's yuan was hit particularly hard by a slew of weak economic readings in the past two weeks. Data on Friday showed China's inflation change in August as COVID-19 lockdown and an energy shortage several dented economic activity. The reading also showed that stimulus measures undertaken by the China's government are yet to take hold in the economy. Data earlier this week also showed that China's trade balance slumped in August, hampered by warning export and, and import. The yuan was set to lose 0.7% this week and was hedged for a fourth strange week of loss. The Japanese yen was dented largely by the Bank of Japan reluctance to hike interest rates. Data this week showed that while the Japanese economy expanded more than initially expected, expected in the second quarter, it is set for more headwinds from rising inflation and new COVID-19 outbreaks. The yen was set to lose 2.4% this week and was also down for a fourth consecutive week. Other ASEAN currencies such as the Singapore dollar and South Korean won rose 0.4% and 0.6% respectively on Friday. Most traditional units took support from mild weakness in the dollar, which come of 20-year hikes. The dollar index and dollar index future both lost 0.6%, with a jump in the euro also pressuring the greenback. The euro, the euro Relate after the European Central Bank hiked interest rates by a record 75 basis points on Thursday. Overnight, Fed Chair Jerome Powell said the bank will, will act strongly to rein in inflation. His comments saw trade begin price breaking in an over 80 85% change the central bank will raise rates by 75 basis points this month. Falling U.S. unemployment claims also point to strain in the labor market, giving the Fed more space to raise interest rates. The trade balance measure the difference in value between imported and exported goods and services over the reported period. A positive number indicates that more goods and services were exported than imported, a trade surplus. A negative number indicates the fewer goods and services were exported than imported, a trade deficit. A reading that is stronger than forecast is generally supportive bulls for the CNY, 
while a weaker than forecast reading is generally negative. Bears for the C and Y. Maybe that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel.